This cabinet is where our card index is kept. It contains all kinds of information about the enemies of the Reich. A clock. Every now and then, the secretary looks at it warily. Copies of documents sent to the 4th Department of the RSHA. The secretary is a real workaholic. He hates laziness and sloppiness. He is reliable and irreplaceable. But apart from that, he is just a blank. Can I help you with anything? I don't know. I went home early yesterday. So if there were any directives, the Gruppenfuhrer has them. I see. Did the Gruppenfuhrer meet Hitler today? I doubt it. I imagine the Fuhrer is still asleep. Why do you ask? I just want to prepare myself for the conversation with the Gruppenfuhrer. Just in case. Yes, I see. Sorry, I can't help you. General Rommel suffered a car crash. He's in critical condition. This is... serious news. Rommel was one of our most brilliant generals. This will be a great loss for the Western Front. He's not lost yet. We still hope that he will return to serve the Wehrmacht. After the crash, the Fuhrer ordered the speed limit lowered to 80 kilometers per hour. That's... sensible. The Allies are moving forward. The Soviets seem to be waiting for something. In short, we've got them cornered. Cornered? Are you sure? Well, if the Fuhrer has one talent, it's in pulling the noose tighter and tighter around their necks. There's more to war than one man's genius. In the end, war must be decided by the soldier. One soldier's efforts can't make a difference. So why not be optimistic while we can, eh? Maybe I should join the soldiers. Let me know if anything important comes up. Certainly. Mayor. Yes? Do you have the report? Good. The Grumpenfuhrer is in a bad mood. What's the matter? It's that Beck case again. He lost another agent. He's beside himself. I see. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to upset him. These books are evidence of the various interests of their owner. Some officers try to put on a false front and impress the visitors with their collections of books, but Mueller is above that. This map looks like it has been taken from Stevenson's Treasure Island. I like books by Stevenson. Some time ago I saw a movie, The Janus Head, and that was based on the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This horror film made a big impression on me. Only friends of Mueller and his assistant sit on this chair. Usual visitors do not have time to sit. He just gives you a quick instruction and then you are dismissed. A blank look, a short haircut, and an athletic figure. This is Gruppenfuhrer Mueller, one of the most powerful and most feared men in all of Germany. Finally! You've been making me wait for you, Mayor. I'm sorry, Gruppenfuhrer. It won't happen again. Do you have the report? Yes, here. Gruppenfuhrer, the Canada case is now complete. That's better. Now I have something to think about. I'll call you if I need you.
Well, yes, maybe there has been a few problems. Is General Beck really involved in a conspiracy? Perhaps Beck's a conspiracy. But then again, maybe he's just a troublesome old man. Permit me to attend to the matter personally. Why so eager? Right. Right. It's a complicated case. And I see no reason why I should not assign it to you. First, find a good surveillance point for the General's mansion. Then, well, we'll see. Maya, just find the apartment. And no, I don't want you acting like those brutes, axemen and clock. We are surgeons, Maya. Gruppenführer. Have you found a surveillance point? No, I'm still working on it. Then why are you still here? I spend no more time than necessary in the Gruppenführer's office, so I've never had a close look at his books. Since Rudolf Hess has left the Third Reich, only Hitler wears brown jackets like this one. Several photos showing Mueller with his colleagues. These photos were taken when Mueller was the chief of the Munich police. He played a large part in the suppression of the Beer Hall Putsch in 1923, arresting many National Socialists. And now, he has been awarded with the Blood Order, which only participants in the Putsch could have previously received. Can I help you with anything? Ah, a good decision. I think that you're the right man for this case. Well, I don't think you're in it for the money or leverage, and it demands calm and experience, which is where all the other agents failed. If this case is so important, then why did the group in Fjord give it to the amateur to begin with? I think at first Mueller thought there was no conspiracy, so any investigation was just a formality. What, so now that's all changed? It would appear so. Beck? He's an aristocrat, an experienced Wehrmacht general. He was forced to resign in 1938, quite deservedly, I must say. Why? From the beginning, he supported the generals. He didn't want the Wehrmacht to be commanded by the Fuhrer. He's still the same even now. But he's more muted these days. I see. Let's see. I can't give you the exact address. I think there's an error in the records. But I know that Beck's mansion is in the Leichtford neighborhood. If you look around there, I'm sure you'll find it. Certainly.
Jewish names are written on each of these folders. Hundreds of unlucky Jews who live in Germany in these dark times. A map of the Eastern Front. The map is very outdated. The clock stopped at 10 o'clock a long time ago. Glock is very proud of his order of the Iron Cross, second class. The drawing, the ship on the sea. This short and stodgy general with a kindly smile is Glock's uncle. Carl Glock and I have disliked each other since the day we've met. I can't stand his rudeness and he hates my regularity, as he calls it. Glock is mean, cruel, and not very smart, but his intuition has helped him crack a lot of cases. So that's why he holds such a high post in the Gestapo. His specialty is cases involving Jews. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. All right, Maya, what do you want now? So what? I know that you're a fan of Frau Rock. That's why I've decided to bring you the good news. You know nothing, Maya. Hitler himself kissed Marika's hand, and she gave him a lock of her hair. My charming Marika. I didn't know that you could say such words as lock of hair or charming. Love does change people dramatically. I love her, and I'll strangle that stupid husband of hers with my own hands. No one's going to stand in my way. Is that so? And you, I'll kill you one day. Have no doubt about that. Now get out! All right, Maya, what do you want now? Ma'am, what do you want to talk about? The weather? Politics? Let's talk about politics. Look at Hungary, for instance. They are our allies. Meanwhile, Horty wants to follow the Italians and forge an alliance between the shopkeepers and the barbarians. What is sorry ass? So hot that he will remember it for the rest of his life. And the rest of our allies, the Russians will eat all these things, Romanians and Italians alive. They're animals. The only one who I wouldn't hang from a hook is Stalin. No, I'd put him in a zoo. It was nice to hear your opinion. Why are you laughing? There's nothing funny about it. Go to hell, Maya. Everything is in perfect order. It's very much in the character of its owner. The Red Orchestra was a German anti-Nazi group that acted as spies for the Soviet Union. The case of the Red Orchestra was classified top secret by the Gestapo. 31 men who worked for the Red Orchestra were hanged, and 18 women were beheaded. I know that Gluck keeps a photo of Marika Roke in his safe. He's madly in love with the famous actress and singer. I don't envy the criminals who were brought here for the interrogation. black SS coat. In the early days, a man in this coat was a part of the elite. But now, people look at us in disgust, as if we were vermin. An SS cap adorned with a skull and bones. <laughs> 